Hey YouTube, this is Born with a Veil, and I have done this reading like twice, and it's like, already, like, what in the world is going on here? So I'm redoing the cards, they don't, I guess they don't want me to do those cards, so I'm doing the Romance Angels cards for you, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Oop, those fell out, so I'm going to do these that fell out. So, trust, the situation calling for you to have faith. Uh, some of you are in a relationship and you do not trust. Some of you are in a marriage you do not trust. Some of, um, some of you that are married to an Aries, Leo, and Sag, you do not trust them as far as you can throw them, especially a uh, Sagittarian. The next card, codependency. Some of you are drinking, getting high too much. You're an alcoholic. You need AA. Um, some of you are eating too much. Got to get a grip on that. You need some help for that. Some of you are reconciling with an ex or an ex, ex lover or a husband, a wife. You guys are separated. Um, and you guys are coming back together. But definitely someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's free will. That's up to you. But you see how he's hugging her? So a lot of re um reconciliations are coming in the springtime, in the summer. They miss you. It's something awful. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking about the uh, reconciliation. This person that's coming back, they want you to stay optimistic about your love life because some of you are going to make it with your ex and some of you are not. Ex is an ex for a reason. Your romantic feelings are coming back with your ex when you reconcile. The passion is coming. The sex is great with the ex. Um, there is still attraction between you two, you and the ex. Very soon it's coming. So a lot of you are getting back with your ex-lovers, exes, husbands, wives. I'm seeing three to four days, three to four weeks, three to four months. A lot of you are getting married to your exes. There's a, there's a wedding and some of you are going to stay married. When you separated, you're getting back together. Some of you are getting a new love. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a new person is coming in, I will say last month, on March 18th, until April the 18th, a new person is entering your life, and then if it goes on just a little bit longer, I will say between March 18th, which has passed, so I'm saying the before March 18th to June 18th, so there's a new person that's going to be coming in, and it's going to be a man coming to a female. She's going to be in love. He's get, he's offering love. So there's going to be a, a lot of men, women that's coming into your life. Because a lot of women don't believe in chasing men. That's why I'm saying that. But when they come, I want you to pay attention to the red flags. I want you to pay attention to the red flags. They're cautioning you. Because you have to get to know somebody before you get with them. Do a background check. Um... Do whatever you feel that you need to do. I would not to a new love. This is how I would do it. I can't tell you what to do, but I would meet them out in public. Um, I would never go to their house, never get in the same car with them. And this would go on for months, honey. This would go on for months. Um, I wouldn't be alone with them. I'd get a background check. I would um, get a health, <laughs> get a health uh, checkup too. Because you never know what they got or what they're doing. I'm sorry, but you got to screen a person really hard. Especially if you don't know where they're coming from and they're a different nationality. I wouldn't give a damn who it is. Get a health checkup with them. Get an AIDS test, HIV. Make sure there's no diseases. And you too. Um, I would start from the bottom and work my way up to the top. But I definitely would not go to their house or be alone with them. I would always meet out in public for a, for a while. I would say. Because I see some uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarians that are going to be meeting some people. And some are bipolar. Some are not right in the head. So be careful of this dating scene and watch who you meet on these dating sites. Um, they want you to express your love more to your partner that you're with now or the partner that you're going to meet. They want you to express your love. Some of you don't express your love enough. And some of you have been married for so long, you don't even have sex anymore. So you might want to try something new in the bedroom. Um, some of you have children 
with your husband and wife. Some of you have two children, two dogs, maybe three dogs, uh, one to two children, one to three children. Um, and the person that you're going to meet does have children and animals. So you better make sure that you love children and you like animals. Because I know I wouldn't change for nobody. If I got an animal or kids, that's the way it's going to be. Uh, separation. Some of you are going to be separating this year. Aries, Leo, Leo and Sagittarius. Um, your man is just going to get sick of your shit. For real. And I see a lot of Aries, Leo, and Sag with the earth sign. Earth sign is not going to deal with your bullshit. Um, they're just not going to deal with it. And a lot of, some of you are with earth signs and cross watchers. You may be one of the earth signs that are with, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag. So you're not going to deal with that. Um, it's safe for you to love. Some of you are afraid to love again because some of you have been really badly hurt, scorned, your heart broken. Um, I feel like some of you have been through a divorce recently. And you're scared to love. A lot of you have called in your uh, soulmate from prayers, affirmations, visualizations, help bring you together. That's why you're together. Because you've prayed for it. You've waited long enough. The chemistry is good between you two. There's a lot of um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarian men that love the breast. A lot of you are with earth sign. You love the breast. You love the legs. You love the ass. Um, there's a strong, he can't keep his hands off of you. It really doesn't matter what sign he is. He can't keep his, he can't keep his hands off of you. Soulmate. A lot of you met your soulmate already. Some of you got to release that damn ex because the energy is going into your new relationship and you don't understand why it's not working or you're having a tough time. Some of you that you have been together for a while or you've been married you got you got to let people go. If you're entering a new relationship, especially, you've got to let your ex go. Who gives a damn what he or she is doing? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from the usual type of expectations. So if you're used to being with somebody skinny, you could fall in love with a heavy set girl. If you're used to being with a skinny guy, you could fall in love with a heavy set man. Or the hair color could be different. Or the nationality could be different. The color could be different. The religion can be different. So look out for that. Getting to know each other. Though some of you men have two women that you have to pick from and decide from. So um, they don't know each other and then some do. But man, you have to. You have two people to pick from. Uh, Aries, Leo, and Sag. And there could be a woman with two men. But you're going to have to make a decision between now and the summer. You're going to have to or the universe will make it for you. Or one of them will pick up and leave. You got to make the effort. You got to step out in faith because great love is worth taking. And some of you have children. You want your children to have a mother or father. You're tired of being alone. Hell, you, you don't want them to be alone. You're going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. You're already in a relationship. But look at his ass. He's like, I don't want to hear this shit no more. So like I say, there are divorces coming. If it hasn't already. Some of you already been married a very long time. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years, you guys are going off to a retreat. You want to be alone. You don't want to be around anybody because all you need is each other. And the last card is divine timing. Everything is worth waiting for, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Remember, everything is worth waiting for. You're not going to get it when you want it, but when the universe wants you to have it. So there are new relationships coming. There are divorces. There are separations. There are reconciliations coming all this year. So thank you. This is Born With A Veil. God bless you. And I hope to read you personally and to talk to you soon. Thank you for coming into my room. God bless.